Hello, this is a locked on plays, and I am here to make a video on a very common question we get on the Discord by newer players, and that is how to expand your base boundaries. Under normal circumstances, a base can be the base boundary is at 300 units. Um, so that's uh, that ship is about a hundred uh, uh, units away. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my exocraft over there is at 382 units away. So it's not a huge amount of distance. But so here I have my very, very fancy base, my mansion here, on this stunningly beautiful world, which I have to admit is the flattest, most boring world I've ever seen in No Man's Sky, which makes it great for doing base demos. So I have my base here. And that red beacon is actually at an oxygen gas cloud. So it's 100 units away. So if I go over there and switch to my scanner, my hotspot is here. It's an oxygen. And I put uh, the wrong kind of extractor down. Let me try that again. We want that kind of extractor. There we go. So, I have uh, oxygen being extracted from here, but now I'm a, I'm a hundred U away from my very, very fancy base, and I want to go over there and extract whichever... Oh, that's, that's a power hotspot. So let's run over there. And I get about this far, and I go into my build menu, and I can still build things. That's because I am only 229U away from my base. So let's go another 80U. And look, you can see my build menu has changed. I can no longer build what I need to. But it's so close. I'm like 62U away from, from the thing I want to build. My base is 330 away. That's 60 away. So what we want to do is we want to go back towards the base until you can build again. There we go. Did you see how everything just just popped pop, popped in again? So I can build my power things again, and I am 294 away. So it's not exactly 300, but it's close. You can see my build menu is changing right here. So what we do is we get within the within the 300U so we can build things again, and we build something in that direction. And the way I like to do it, just uh, the way it works best for me, is I go in into these, um, sh these ba basic structures, and I build walls. Now, everyone does it differently. I like to build walls and I like to make them an obnoxious color so they're easy to see. So now I have this wall and if I walk away, if I walk this direction, you can see my build menu is still active. I've extended my base boundary. Now I can actually put a wall way out there and that's beyond what, what I want to build. So here we have and my exocraft and we have here an electromagnetic hotspot so I can build my ah the build menu you think I would know it by heart by now so I can build my elect my electromagnetic uh, hotspot I can run a wire back through my base and I can power everything there is. So even though I am 383U away from my base, I can build. So there's also another hotspot over there somewhere. There's a deep level hotspot 300 and some directions that way. So I could expand the base that way as well. That actually is, a, is another base, don't worry about that. So you, you can expand your base boundaries out to about 1,000 U in each direction. So each time you expand it, you end up uh, putting out like a pseudopod. So if I go zooming over here, you'll remember that my, my hotspot was 383 U away. 
from the base. So let me go three over 300 away over here as well. That should do it. My base is now 387. So I'm about the same distance away from my, my, my base boundary as I was. But you see I can't build anything here. That's because the base boundary expands sort of like a pseudopod, like a tentacle. So you have to expand it in uh, out in these t tentacles. And the tentacles tend to be about 50 or so U wide. And I'll show a quick screenshot on, on what that looks like. It's a, really ug it's a really ugly graphic, but it shows you what I'm talking about. So... So, a lot of people will expand using walls or things like that, and a lot of people will also expand using batteries, especially if they're going to a hotspot, because that's a nice way to run the wire. Um, just r run the wire from battery to battery to battery. I like to do it using short-range tel teleporter relay stations, but that is a more complicated topic than can be dealt with in this video. However, I've already made a video on that, so I will link to it in the description. So I hope that was a very, very quick and useful uh, demo on how to expand your, your base boundaries. Again, you can go th uh, a thousand U in any direction. So in, in total, your base boundary, uh, the radius, you can build in a thousand U in, in, in different directions, so your base could end up being actually 2,000 U across. So that's everything. I hope this was useful. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. If not, that's totally cool too. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks!